Okay, so I have a hypothetical. I've been listening to this book, The Need. I believe it's by Helen Phillips. So imagine you come face to face with yourself from another dimension. And this you is exactly like you. Everything that ever happened to you happened to them. Every idea that you can come up with, every move that you would make, they know it because they think just like you. The difference is when they came into your into your universe, your dimension, it was right after they were victims of a terrorist attack where the, their children, your children, died. Your children do not exist in that it in that dimension anymore. This other you is saying, let's share. Now bear in mind, this other you knows everything about your children, can take care of them exactly as you would, and is grieving, but she's got a chance to have something, to see something of her, her children. Now, would you share your life with her where you two can't be in the same place at the same time? You're not always with your children, always with your husband, always at your job. Sometimes it's her, sometimes it's you. Would you do it? I'll go first. Yes, I would. I would totally do it because there have been times in my life where I was sick. Sick as a dog and my kids were just bouncing off the walls and I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> somebody save me. You know, be nice if there was another version of me. And that version of me could go to work and still get a paycheck. That version of me also gets time off because you think if you're doing it, I'm there one day, she's there the next day. One day, next day. You know, we each write like a little note as to stuff that happened. Or let people think we're a little kooky and forget things. You know, oh, she's absent-minded, she forgets. It's cool. You each have personal time. You know, money goes into the account at the house. You never starve, you never run out. Of, you, you wear the same clothes, you know. The other you is living in the basement at your house. I'm going for it. 